I was driving and all of a sudden the truck jumped. Brandon Ellis recalls the moment he could feel the Twin Towers falling apart. Um, you, you could start smelling the smoke. You, you saw people just running. Uh, but I started thinking about other people and you knew instantly this was going to change people's lives. There were people that went to work that weren't coming home. Changing the way he saw everyday life, the experience, leaving an everlasting mark on his memory. For many years, every time you heard a car backfire, even a firecracker, it takes you back to that. Uh, to this day, if I'm under a bridge driving and a truck goes across a bridge and I hear clunk, 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 it takes you right back to, to hearing those buildings going clunk, 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 clunk. Verlin Ellis was also in the vicinity. She says although those devastating images are still replaying, there's just one thing that keeps them going. It was it was diff it's, it is difficult to communicate people laying in the street not knowing what was going to happen, who was who had lost a son or a daughter or a mother or a father or whose parent was never going to come home from school to pick up their children. But there is hope the hope of a better future, witnessing people helping people. It actually built us up because we saw people reacting uh, just in the community trying to help. And you felt helpless. You, there's nothing you could do that day. But the days after you saw people volunteering, you saw people coming up and helping. Robert Hendricks was a part of an organization that was on the grounds. He saw firsthand the impact 9-11 had on many families. Yeah, going there, I can remember having a, an extreme headache afterwards from, from the, the, the smell of the remains and, and also being able to uh, talk to people, comfort them. That day shifting the way Jehovah's Witnesses handled disaster relief to a more immediate approach. Now, 20 years later, the couple finds solace in helping other people with traumatic experiences, never forgetting the day that changed everything. Every tragedy, whether it's a hurricane or COVID or a terrorist attack, is always an opportunity to show love. Miranda Thomas, ABC 31 News, that works for you.